Cardinal Fulton Sheen will say, it takes three people to get married. First is the husband, second is the wife, and third is God. And among these three, the first should be God. That's why when there are husband and wife, they are telling each other that we are going to give God the first place in our life. And God also wants that you give him the first place in his life. If you look at the Gospels, like maybe at the feeding of the 5,000, maybe the number of rooms that are present, the Lord tells us there is abundance, abundance with him. There is abundance of graces that the Lord has. He is never empty of graces. And even in marriage, we require these graces of God. The second, among these, they are telling each other that you are more precious than me. The husband is telling the wife, you are more precious. The wife is telling the husband, you are more precious than me and even my family members or even the children that we are going to have. And the third is, we are going to tell that it is not only the husband and wife live individually, but they live in community. That's why they serve people. They go for work. They help out in the church. They help out at various places. They may be catechist teachers. There are three. One is giving God the first priority. Second is telling like, you are more precious, more precious than anyone else. And third is, we are there for service. If this does not fall, then we have the question of divorce. That is what I assume. We have the question of divorce. And they are asking Jesus, is divorce permissible? Is it permissible in the Catholic Church? I think it is not permissible. Not Till now it is not permissible. And that's why they like, no, to, av to avoid this, they will put annihilation. So divorce, why it is not permissible? First reading beautifully tells us, like, no, the covenant. It's a covenant from God. This God has done. God does not leave his people. God is always there with us. He is there with us whether we do good or whether we do bad. He does not leave his people. The marriage covenant is like that. We cannot leave because he is doing bad. It is to be together. The Lord has put us. So today I feel in a very special way, we pray for all the married couples. We pray for our parents, maybe in our own family members. They may be married people. That they may always be united. That God may always bless them. And those who are finding difficult, that the Lord may give them the grace. That they may come to the Lord. The Lord may pour his abundant grace on them. And that their marriage may revive. For this intention, we pray to the Lord.